Now we all know that installing an application on macOS is very simple. Just drag your application to the applications folder, wait until it's fully copied, and then just open the app. But what if you actually want to remove these apps later on? Now Apple says that if you want to uninstall an application that you've installed through the Mac App Store, that you have to open up Launchpad and then press and hold on an icon until it starts to jiggle and then click the delete button. But if you have downloaded an app from a different source, then Apple leaves you pretty much hanging. They say that if your app doesn't have an uninstaller, simply drag it from the applications folder into the trash. But that is not a great way to delete applications because it will leave files behind on your Mac. So to fix that, there are many applications that are built to find these hidden files and delete them with the application that you want to remove. In this video, I will show you a simple and free tool called App Cleaner. You can download this tool on freemacsoft.net slash app cleaner and it's a very simple application. So this is what App Cleaner looks like if you open it up for the very first time and it invites you to drop an app that you want to uninstall. So let me drag in a finer window here with my applications. And let's say that I want to remove Cyberduck. Now Cyberduck is an application that I've downloaded from the internet. It didn't come from the Mac App Store. And let's just drag it in here and see all the hidden files that it has created on my system. So here App Cleaner says that it found five files that are related to Cyberduck. So this is the main application. And then these are all the files that Cyberduck has created uh, on my Mac. These include files in application support, but also some caches. Now note that if I would just uninstall Cyberduck by dragging it to the trash, all these files would not have been deleted and would still be on my Mac. Now Cyberduck is not a pretty big offender, it just stores very small files. But apps like Spotify, for example, keep a very large cache of all the music that you've listened to. So that's just one way of removing applications from your Mac with App Cleaner. Another one is to use the list mode. If you click on this, it will show you a list of all the applications that it found on your Mac. And if you want to remove any of these, you just click on one, it will search for all the files that that application has created, and then you can click remove to remove them. So that was it for this video, just a very quick tip on how to completely uninstall applications from your Mac and not just dragging the application to your trash. Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button or give this video a thumbs up.